Hey everyone, my name is Ketty. I'm a food columnist here at Kelowna Now, and we're here outside the Burger Baron, newly reopened, here to check out how they make their famous burgers and talk to some of the people inside and see exactly what they love about this famous Kelowna institution. And it's been super busy since reopening, I guess. It has been so overwhelming, the, the excitement and the, and the hype. Like it started about a couple of weeks before we opened. I had a family here the other night and uh, they were fourth generation Burger Baron customers. The first night we had wait times of 45 minutes to an hour. And I tell them it's going to be an hour and they said, oh, we're fine with that. And so I could hear them and they're all reminiscing. 11 years. <laughs> That's awesome. So you must have been sad when it closed, hey? Uh, it was it was gone for a little bit, but now we're happy it's back. So did you keep most of the uh, menu options the same, or did you change a lot? That or add or? We tried to keep it as as simple as we could. We went to the Burger Barons in the Alberta area because there's quite a few of them to see what they had and what they were offering, and getting some suggestions from them what we should take off the menu, what we should put back on the menu. Then obviously the community just loves it. There's really no other place like it in Kelowna. I can't think of a single place where you could get a comparable burger, especially for the price. So this is your first time at Burger Baron? It is, yes. And did you love it, like it, what do you think? I thought it was actually really good, a decent price for a really good product. No, it's, it's been quite exciting and the milkshakes, we're, we're doing over 200 milkshakes a day. So we're here behind the scenes on the line with uh, partner in Chef Moose and one of their lovely staff members here and we're going to see how they put together the famous burger. So how do you make the perfect burger? How does it start out? Uh, we'll grill in the patty yeah. and then grill in the bun. Yeah, grilling the bun, that's an important step. And then sauce and lettuce, tomato, pickles and onion. And then the burger with cheese or no cheese if they don't want it gets stacked right on top of all the saucy stuff. Yeah. The sauce on the burger I really like. Yeah, and the seasoning on the fries. Also a classic, yeah. And I see you've got something delicious to sip on there. What's that? It's a peanut butter and chocolate shake. So this is Dante. He's one of the employees here at Burger Bear, and he's going to show us how to make the perfect milkshake. Is that right? Yes, I am. Now, we got cream. Okay, and we swirl it around. We'll be in milkshake without a swirl. Right. And then we blend it all together. Okay, if someone wants, you know, 10 flavors, uh, in their milkshake, well, they can have that, and we can blend it all together using this. And you just go up and down, side to side, and uh, fuses up all the uh, all the flavors all together. So you are the longest-standing employee here at Burger Baron. What's what's your name? My name is Faye Harley, and I have been here since 1999. Incredible. So you must have seen a lot of changes for Burger Baron or have you found it mostly? Yes, but it is awesome now. Yeah. yeah, but then it always has been. It, to me, it's one of the best places in town. 